Are you wondering how to unpack, assemble, and see what comes with the 2021 Blackstone 22-inch Adventure Griddle? Or are you just trying to figure out if it's the right Christmas gift for next grilling season? Well, stay tuned for an in-depth, raw video review. And welcome back to another video by All Things Unrelated, where I do product reviews, motorcycle videos, working out, and anything and everything in between. So this video is going to provide you with an in-depth look at the unboxing and assembly of the Blackstone 22-inch tabletop adventure griddle with hood and stand. Before we get into it, please like and subscribe to help build my channel and my dreams. Let me know in the comments if you subscribed, and I'll sub for subs. Oh, and stick around for a bonus tip at the end. Let's get right into it now. So I bought this in September of 2021. This 2H burner griddle flat top comes with two heating zones. So I prefer at least two burners so I can cook two different temperatures if I need to. This is also an adventure griddle for packing up and camping. I would say that this is not light though. It's maybe 35 to 40 pounds without the stand. So keep that in mind if you plan on moving this around a lot. This says 30 minutes assemble, but what is nice is that these now come pre-assembled. I would say about 80% complete. So this was well packaged with cardboard, honeycomb, and as you can see, everything comes wrapped in some protective plastic. Here it is all laid out from the box. There were about five to six pieces and then more parts inside of the griddle itself. Again, as you can see, a majority of this was assembled already, like the hood was already attached to the griddle. The two main parts are the griddle flat and the top. These connect together by inserting the metal prongs and then pushing them back. Just be advised that this is not secure. It can easily slide out, so be aware of this. The intent is just to lightly lock it in place for when you're cooking. Here are the rest of the pieces. It comes with a rear grease holder with one disposable foil insert, the handle for the hood that needs to be screwed on, the feet for the griddle to attach it to the stand, and then the larger propane tank adapter. Here I show you how to easily attach the handle with just a screwdriver. The handle is very durable, heavy, and I really like the added orange rubber grip. It's not only functional, but adds some nice color to the griddle and it feels very solid when assembled. Here's the rear grease tray that slips in right in the back slot. I do recommend putting the foil insert in first. The stand was all assembled. It is very durable and a lot heavier than I thought, um, but the legs do fold out using the little pull pins, no screw or assembly required. And here you can see that I thought the rubber little feet were for the stand, but they are actually for the top. They go underneath the burners and screw in. This is where you can use a wrench, but I opted to just use my fingers. The nice about these rubber feet is that you can also just use it to cook on any flat surface. You do not need to put it onto the stand. I was not a fan of how the leg extended uh, because they have no predetermined length or notches, but I realized it was probably on purpose to give the utmost flexibility on length. So just to put it all together, just align those rubber feet with the holes of the base. Put on the shelf, it will only go on one side where the screw heads are large enough. Just simply align the screws and push it down. It easily pops off again for easy disassembly. Here I just show you how the two propane adapters screw on. There is no holder for the propane tanks. So if you get a big one, it'll just sit underneath the side table. But there is an adapter for the small propane tanks and the larger propane tanks. So here it is all put together. It was really easy and it would have taken me a much shorter time if I wasn't filming. To turn the burners on, just push and click for the starters. They worked each time, you just might not see it, but it's a simple push start and turn for level of flame. That wraps up this video and I hope you enjoyed it and we'll get some use out of it. Now for that bonus. I got creative and made BB gun targets out of the honeycomb packaging from the Blackstone. So I got to recycle it instead of just throw it out. I taped the honeycomb together and added the tough cardboard sides as stabilizers. Leave some comments below and let me know how you recycled yours. Thanks again. Have a great, happy new year.